kid. Seriously. Hey, Luke. Hey, what? Way back in the day in 2008, this whole MCU thing got started with a movie called Iron Man. Have you seen the, the movie? Have you seen the trailer? I have seen both. It's probably good that we did or we probably wouldn't be doing this. Am I right? Probably true. You know, I remember watching this trailer way back in the day and you have Robert Downey Jr. doing the wisecracking in the back of the limo with the soldiers and I'm sitting there thinking, this is going to be the best movie ever and then going, oh god damn it, it's Iron Man. But it's still a good movie. It's still a great movie. And it's a great trailer. It's right. well put together. It gives you enough of, of what's happening in it to get you excited excited to want to spend time with everyone involved but it doesn't give the whole plot away a lot of good action a lot of good lines it's a very well-made trailer good music and i think the trailer shows a lot of what the mcu got right and why it's been so popular is it really focuses on who tony stark is as a person and if you look back to all those early movies that's what they're about it's not so much about you know other superhero movies they focus about the costume and this is really about the person and analyzing the person. And there's not a lot of Iron Man in this in this uh, trailer. And and that's I mean I guess there is towards the end. Um, but like you said at the beginning, it's it's all about Tony Stark. And I think that that was a, a wise move. Yeah, if only they would have learned that in Iron Man two and three. Well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs>